Section. Introduction. In this section, we introduce a new framework for large language model, LLM, agents that combines various components to improve their learning and operation processes. Our framework, called Agile, consists of four modules, LLM, Memory, Tools, and Executor. The LLM predicts actions, while the Executor carries out these actions by interpreting LLM instructions and coordinating the modules. We also introduce a new skill called Seeking Advice, where the agent consults experts for help and learns from their feedback. Our training method, based on reinforcement learning, trains the agent to use different modules and improve its reasoning, planning, reflection, and seeking advice abilities. We evaluate our framework using a new benchmark called Product QA, which includes a wide range of question types and tasks related to customer service. This benchmark assesses the agent's ability to handle information, use tools, interact with humans, self-evaluate, and reflect. We also test our framework on MedMCQA, a medical question-answering task. Our experiments show that our Agile agents, trained with reinforcement learning, outperform existing LLM agents like GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. Our contributions include proposing a novel framework for LLM agents that can seek advice from experts, enhancing accuracy and adaptability. We also introduce the Product QA benchmark to evaluate complex question-answering abilities comprehensively. Our experiments demonstrate that Agile agents based on 13B and 7B LLMs trained with reinforcement learning can outperform GPT-4 agents. Section Summary in this section, we introduce a novel framework for large language model, LLM, agents, called Agile, which unifies various components like planning, reflection, tool use, and lifelong learning to streamline their learning and operation processes. The Agile framework consists of four modules, LLM, memory, tools, and executor, enabling the agent to interact with users and experts, seek advice, and improve its performance through reinforcement learning. Through experiments on product QA and med MCQA tasks, we demonstrate that Agile agents trained with PPO outperform existing LLM agents like GPT-4, showcasing the importance of integrating different modules and seeking advice from human experts in enhancing the agent's performance. Section. Methods. In this section, we present our method for formulating the reinforcement learning, RL, framework of our agent. Our agent framework consists of four main components, the language model, LLM, memory, tools, and executor. The LLM has a context, which is a sequence of tokens used to predict the next token. In RL terms, our agent operates based on a token-level Markov decision process. The action space corresponds to the vocabulary of the LLM, where each token represents an action. The LLM acts as the policy model. The state of the agent includes the context and memory pair. When the LLM predicts a new action, a new token, control is passed to the executor. The executor then uses predefined logic to transition from the current state to the next state, following the RL state transition function. Subsequently, control returns to the LLM to predict the next action. At the same time, the environment provides a reward based on the current state and action taken. The state transition process involves appending the predicted token to the context by the executor. The executor then checks a list of functions, each designed to perform specific operations like memory management, tool usage, and interaction with the environment. If the predicted action matches a function name, the executor executes the corresponding function, which further modifies the agent's state. For example, if the token is, get question, the executor prompts the user for a new question and adds it to the context. If the token is, update memory, a segment of the context is written into memory. If the token is, clear context, the context is reset to, boss. In summary, the LLM interacts with memory and tools by predicting function names, with the executor executing these functions. Regarding policy learning, we approach it as training a language model. An agent trajectory is derived from a sequence of states and actions. 
we create a training sequence based on the actions taken by the executor, where each action token is appended to the context. In imitation learning, IL, we generate trajectories by observing human or expert agents and fine-tune the LLM based on these sequences. In RL, the LLM serves as the policy model, and training sequences are sampled from it. The LLM is optimized using policy gradient methods like PPO, focusing on action tokens. To handle long trajectories, we can partition them into smaller segments based on the structure of the agent's interactions. Our agent framework allows interaction with human experts by seeking advice through functions like seek advice. This enables the agent to request correct answers when unsure and distill general knowledge from expert advice for future tasks. The decision-making process for seeking advice aligns with our RL framework, where the agent estimates confidence, predicts advice value, and considers resource costs as RL rewards. This approach allows training of decision-making skills as part of the policy model in an end-to-end -end manner. Section Summary In this section, we introduce our agent framework which consists of four key elements, LLM, memory, tools, and executor. The LLM acts as the policy model, predicting function names that the executor executes to interact with memory and tools. We frame policy learning as training a language model, deriving training sequences from agent trajectories and using policy gradient methods like PPO for optimization. Additionally, our framework allows the agent to seek advice from human experts, enabling it to request correct answers, distill knowledge, and adapt to new tasks, all within the RL framework. Section. The Product QA Dataset. In this section, we discuss the Product QA Dataset. We believe that evaluating LLM agents in a real online shopping setting presents a significant challenge. It requires expert knowledge about millions of products, their specifications, usage scenarios, and compatibility with other products. Some questions even need tools like a product search tool. To address this challenge, we created the product QA dataset, which includes 26 QA tasks, each focusing on a specific group of products within a category. We have 20 groups for training and 6 for testing to assess how well the agent can adapt to new tasks. Each group contains 17 to 20 products, and we gathered around 3,393 question-answer pairs for each group. The questions within the same group are related, as knowledge from one answer can help in answering other questions. The dataset is annotated by 20 professional annotators, and we provide detailed guidelines for annotation. We also share the code for data pre-processing before human annotation. For product collection, we extract products from the Amazon review data, selecting popular products with at least 100 reviews and categorizing them into 26 product groups. Annotators then create an information table for each group, using GPT-4 to extract product features from reviews to assist in the annotation process. We identify three main types of questions in online shopping, Fact QA, Search QA, and Reasoning QA. Fact QAs are generated from product reviews, search QAs involve creating questions from SQL expressions, and reasoning QAs require domain-specific knowledge. We train our model to predict both detailed and concise answers for each question type. We evaluate our agent on two challenging QA tasks, Product QA and Med MC QA. The Med MC QA dataset focuses on multiple choice QA from medical school entrance exams. Our agent can perform various functions, such as prompting the user for questions, retrieving relevant information, using tools like product search, and deciding whether to predict an answer or seek human advice. Seeking advice incurs a fixed cost, and the agent aims to provide correct answers to earn rewards. Section Summary in this section, we introduce the product QA dataset, which is designed to evaluate LLM agents in the context of product question answering in online shopping scenarios. The dataset comprises 26 QA tasks covering various product categories, each with 17 to 20 products, and emphasizes adaptability to new tasks. We collect question-answer pairs for each product group, 
where questions are categorized into fact QA, search QA, and reasoning QA types, and train the model to predict both detailed and concise answers for each question type. Section Training In this section, we undergo training in two stages. Initially, we create trajectories from the training data and use imitation learning to train our agent. Subsequently, we apply an algorithm for further optimization through reinforcement learning. For detailed implementation information, please refer to the appendix. Our agent's LLM is initially set from Vicuña 13B 1.5 for Product QA and Meerkat 7B for Med MC QA. We fine-tune the model for two epics with a learning rate of 1E5 and a batch size of 64. Following this, we implement PPO for one epic with a learning rate of 1E6 and a batch size of 64. The training process takes place on NVIDIA H800. When it comes to evaluation and baselines, we assess the agent using three metrics. A. Advice rate, which is the frequency of seeking human advice. B. Accuracy, representing the rate of correctly predicting answers. And C. Total score, which is the average reward across all sessions, considering both the advice rate and accuracy. We compare our agent against two types of baselines. One, prompting GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 to directly answer questions without behaving like an agent, denoted as GPT 3.5 prompt and GPT 4 prompt. Two, prompting GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 within the Agile framework, noted as Agile GPT 3.5 prompt and Agile GPT 4 prompt. Detailed prompts for all baselines can be found in the appendix. Our results on product QA demonstrate that our Agile agent surpasses all baselines. Particularly, the average total score of Agile VIC 13 BPPO across six test groups shows a relative improvement of 9.2% in short answers and 5.0% in long answers compared to Agile GPT-4 prompt when the seeking advice cost is included in the prompt. Notably, Agile VIC 13 BPPO achieves 7.4% higher accuracy in short answers than Agile GPT-4 prompt while using a similar number of seeking advice instances. Our Agile VIC 7 BPPO agent also outperforms Agile GPT-4 prompt in average total scores. We explore the impact of varying the seeking advice cost and observe that decreasing the cost leads to increased advice rate and accuracy indicating better utilization of human assistance. Furthermore, we conduct ablation studies to evaluate the contributions of individual agent components and the effects of RL training. Disabling the option to seek advice results in a 10.7% accuracy drop and a 5.0% relative reduction in total score. Forcing the agent to seek advice at the beginning of the trajectory causes a 4.2% accuracy decrease, highlighting the importance of adaptive decision-making. Removing memory and reflection capabilities increases the advice-seeking frequency, leading to decreased total score. Additionally, disabling tool use significantly raises the advice-seeking rate due to diminished agent capabilities. RL training enhances the relative total score by 2.3%, reduces the advice-seeking rate, and improves accuracy showcasing the effectiveness of RL training in optimizing the policy. Detailed examples of Agile VIC 13 BPPO demonstrating how memory, tools, seeking advice, and reflection enhance the agent workflow can be found in the appendix. The trend of the advice rate in Agile VIC 13 BPPO shows a consistent decrease as more sessions are added to the trajectory, indicating the agent's increasing independence and knowledge accumulation. Disabling RL training or reflection leads to a notable increase in the advice rate, emphasizing the significance of RL training and reflection in reducing human costs. Section Summary In this section, we undergo training in two stages. First, constructing trajectories from training data using imitation learning, then optimizing further through reinforcement learning. The agent's LLM is initialized from Vicuña 13B 1.5 for Product QA and Meerkat 7B for Med MC QA, followed by fine-tuning and implementing PPO. We evaluate the agent based on advice rate, accuracy, and total score, 
outperforming baselines on product QA, showcasing the impact of adjusting seeking advice cost on accuracy, and demonstrating the importance of RL training and reflection in reducing human costs. Section. Results on Med MCQA. In this section, we present our findings on Med MCQA. We developed an agile MEC 7 BPPO agent based on the Meerkat 7B model, achieving an accuracy of 85.2% with a 31.6% advice rate. Compared to the Meerkat 7B prompt base model, our agent showed a 31.8% accuracy improvement and a 6.1% increase over the GPT-4 MedPrompt state-of-the-art model. Seeking advice alone contributed to a 23.2% accuracy boost, correcting an average of 0.73 prediction errors per advice instance. The PPO training effectively helped the agent recognize its mistakes. We also evaluated Agile GPT 3.5 prompt and Agile GPT 4 prompt within our Agile framework, incorporating GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. These agents used advice seeking to enhance accuracy, but without RL training, their overall performance was lower than Agile MEC 7 BPPO. Through ablation studies, we confirmed the crucial roles of memory, reflection, seeking advice, and RL training in achieving high performance. Removing these components led to a significant decrease in total scores. Large language models, LLMs, have shown impressive abilities in following instructions, reasoning, and planning. Various research works have developed remarkable LLM agents through prompt engineering, capable of autonomously handling complex tasks in different environments. Key components in designing LLM agents include planning, tool use, and reflection. In our work, we enabled the agent to utilize memory, tools, and learn proactively from the environment. We integrated the entire process into an RL framework to optimize all agent skills collectively. When it comes to human-agent interaction, LLMs encounter challenges like hallucination and limited long-tail knowledge. Involving human experts can help address these issues. Some studies have integrated human experts into agent workflows, either passively accepting advice or proactively asking questions. However, it's crucial that the decision to seek advice aligns with the LLM's own knowledge and capabilities. Token probabilities, often overconfident, have been used as a confidence measure, but existing calibration methods may not generalize well when the LLM makes multiple decisions sequentially. Various benchmarks have been created to evaluate agent capabilities, focusing on tool usage, planning, reasoning, and navigation skills in different environments. While existing benchmarks cover several aspects, none comprehensively address all the challenges faced in real-world agent applications. This gap motivated us to develop product QA, 